Welcome to David's studio. So today, I'm not gonna see what I paint. I'm just the hand. David is the eyes, the heart, the soul, the creative director. It means that whatever comes out of this painting, it'll be your fault. I, I'm just a hand. You're my brush. I'm gonna sign it because it's my work of art. Of course. Don't peek. I'm not peeking. I'm just gonna put, get some colors out that I know we'll need, like black and white. Usually we need those. Okay, so we've divided the um, work area in sections. So A, B, C, one, two, three. So you have to imagine a grid here so that it's easier for me to be the brush. You'll see. Okay, so let's start with the background. At the bottom of row three, yeah. you draw a line. Let's do it like some kind of beige. Earthy beige coming right up. That's very flesh toned. <laughs> so when you're not enthralled, <laughs> let me fix that for you. No, 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 no. We're going to keep that for later. <laughs> no. no, no, no. We need that for later. No, hold on. I'm just mixing paint. You want it to be beige, right? Yeah, the dark, dark. Darker. Darker, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's very yucky, that's nice. Okay, now it's just a bottom line, like a smidge. A smidge like this. Yeah, perfect. Marble it up. Marbled. What's this? It's green. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> make, make a fuzzy background with that. Do we need a gradient or it's pretty much the it's whole? It's pretty even. Pretty even. Yeah. Okay, take a tiny brush. We're gonna need to draw a black circle. Okay, yeah. between A1 and B1, there's a circle. Okay, a bit bigger. All right, so we're gonna move on to green. So at the bottom left of the circle, okay. in square A1, yeah. you're gonna do uh, just a half, like a, a third of a circle. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, now do another curve, but aimed downwards. Downwards and I come back up. Yeah. Curve. Oh, like that. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Contour. Contour line, yeah, contour, the, yeah. But about at the third of B1 and at the same height. I wasn't listening. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need another black circle. Tell me where to put it. Okay, it's in B1. B1. Same height as that first black circle. Draw the same contour line for the other circle. Here? Yeah, same sort of contour. I like that. I'm fed up with green now. Let's move on to another thing and we'll come back to green later. Now I want the, the McDonald purple. Is this good? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. We're gonna draw circles again. Okay. But they're smaller than those black circles. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my Posca pen to outline the circle just so that it's easier. Three circles next to each other and the circles are a bit smaller than the black circle. B3 bottom. Okay, bottom left. Bottom left. Three circles the same way you did but really close together this time. Are they the same size? Same size, same sort of size. In the middle there's a circle. Where? In the middle of B3. Same type of... No! In the middle bottom of B3. Oh, the middle here. Yeah. See? Oh. Repair. Magic. Oh my god, a tiny little baby circle. Now give them like a, like they're, they're, they're marbles. Oh, they're marbles. That's so easy. Shiny spheres might be tricky, but I'll do it. But you just draw a sphere with a little white highlight. Of course. I'm the master, listen to me. I feel like this is uh, very interesting. If I had to guess, yes. do you want me to guess? Sure, guess. I feel like it's a special under underwater uh, world. Maybe we're like in another on another planet, and they're like like rocks, or maybe they're um, eggs. Eggs. Mm -hmm. eggs laid from um, a purple octopus. So now we need like a little highlight at the top of everything, right? Super shiny, it shines. Shines like mad. Like mad, like mad that. Shine. Oh my God, yeah. that's so shiny. Oh, how big the arch. All to the top. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 
This is like the mom octopus for sure. Starting from the arch, do like a, like it's like a. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. No, don't cheat. I can't. No. I can't use objects. No, 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 no. It's hard to describe abstract shapes. Draw a line that's gonna curve slightly left, starting from the bottom of the arch. Mirror that on the other side. Mm. Antennas. Where the three circles at A was. Am I A3. bothering you? <laughs> I'm boring you. <laughs> You're gonna draw a green line that goes all the way to that circle in B3. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, thicker. Now. Oh, thicker. I like thicker. Like that. Now do a line that goes from the top of that circle. Yeah. This one. Yeah, with an angle of about 30 degrees oh, 30 going degrees. up. All the way to the edge of B3. Like that. Mm, yeah, yeah. And do I go all the way to the back like or from, do I. It's like from each circle there's a line that goes towards the middle. Yeah, that's it. Blast it. I feel like I'm doing a masterful job. It's all green, like all, all the green. way as all a square, green. like here. Yeah, so I go like this, like green. this, yes, like this. Like, yes, it's that, this specific green. Yeah, oh, this is my best. I think this is the best moment of this painting so far. B2. B2. Mm. You're gonna draw a half circle. This is a freaking frog. <laughs> is it? It feels like it's a frog. <laughs> we'll see. B two half circle. Wow. Blam. Okay. Fill it up. <gasps> oh, filling up is my favorite part. Fill her up. Done. You know what's going on in A one? Yeah. That like whole green shape. Mm hmm. Mirror that <gasps> on the other side where the other black circle is. That's that's it. That's good. That's very good. No. Okay, now take the tip of those those flurries now, the, the, the side flurries. This? Like Bloom. that? Yes, same <gasps> thing on the other side. It is a freaking frog. <laughs> it's a freaking frog. Okay, now fill it all up with green. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my green. Fill her up. Fill her up. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> At the corner of B2 and C2. Draw a line that goes to the middle of C2. Start from that cluster yeah. and do an arc that meets up with that. Like yes. this? Yes. An arc like that? Yes. Okay, now. <gasps> That's the out. leg! <laughs> <laughs> it is a frog! <laughs> sort oh. of mirror that sort of shape. Okay. Is this good? That's very good. Okay. Now what? Now we need to put some stuff in it. Huh? So it's now, not a frog. It's not a frog. <laughs> <laughs> can we call it a frog now? Yeah, we or can do, call it I a could, frog. I, could, I do you, a contour. You, uh, yeah, contour, contour. Where? Like here? Yes, exactly. Follow that line, contour it. Now the same type of shadow, but on that... On the oh, right leg. This is messy right here. You know the bottom circles of, of B3? Yeah, like same color! The same, the same green, but like... Up, no, no, up, no, no, like that way. This way. Okay, now like take the beige. Okay. I do a smile. A smile, yeah. Do a smile. Yes. Okay, now, now make it wet. What? It has droplets of, of water. Oh, make it wet. This is gonna take forever if I draw droplets. No, but that's good. That, that gives a good... Okay, oh my it's God. wet. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> Is that it? It Fred. has no hands. Yeah, the hands are the bottom thing. Here. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the reveal, first of all. <gasps> that's cool. I'm gonna give you something to sign it. I have a whole video on signing paintings. You, you didn't get it. a chance to watch it. Oh, master at work. It's a stroke of genius. It is. Stroke. That's you, where it comes from, that, that expression. It's like strokes. That. Brush strokes. <laughs> a stroke of genius. I just got it. Well, without the signature, this painting would be nothing. Of course. But not. now, 
It's a masterpiece. Come on. It's, I, I'm so impressed by your first painting. You're a guest. I love it. The energy coming through it. There's a lot of joy and yeah. power. <laughs> power because it's a, it's a king frog. Now, the only thing left to do mm. is to the put day. it up for sale. Right. And give it a price. And because you're not like, it's your first painting, it could be worth anything. It could be worth like billions of dollars or like 25 cents. It's hard to test the market because you've never sold before. So I feel like we should just get a random number generator for the price. Okay, Google, generate a random number. Oh, 70. 70. $70,000. That's pretty good. <laughs> if you want to buy it, it's up on my website. Now the big reveal, David's gonna show the brush what the reference photo was. Blam! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that you went like super interesting with the colors. This is good. See, I switched the, the silver to purple. I feel like your interpretation one. is way better than the real thing. <laughs> way better. Nice. This one looks a little bit pretentious. This one is too self-satisfied. I know, yours is like, Mine it is. has a candor. I like yours better. Yeah, good job. Subscribe.